Hi guys, so today I have this new set to uh, try out for you. It's a new die and press set called Wish Big Double Slider Dies with Stamps. It is currently available there on HSN. They did send these items free of charge from my review, and of course all opinions are my own. And any links in the description box will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you purchase items to those links. I'm super excited to try this out because I happen to, to know from the link on HSN that it's like an interactive slider type card. So let's check this out. Oh cool, I was wondering why it was in one of these kind of packages, like the box instead of just like the envelope. Because there is some good stuff here. A little and then, um, extra baggie yeah. there. Okay, so we have uh, dimensional adhesives. We have the instructions. There's a couple sheets because again this is an interactive one. So there's going to be some steps that we need to take. Um, you have your slider base, the sliders. And what I'm trying to get to is to show you what it does. So you have this like a card topper I suppose or a front and then you pull the sides and it will have little messages or whatever it is that you put on those little slider tabs. Cute little items to decorate with. So some words and we have oh how sweet a little layering <laughs> like butterflies and the stamps. So we have the layering hat, the flowers, really really sweet. So it's just a little something with a little layer you know. Oh, look at that. Just a little added texture. Oh, cool. So the balloon has like this extra kind of fun texture. I hadn't seen something like that before. That is so cute. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's your day. Okay, so let's check this out. So again, we have the uh, dimensional adhesives. We have the two stamp sets, a cutting folder. Again, that's for the marquee system. But if you do not have the marquee system, you can definitely run these guys through any machine that cuts thin metal dies and I get that question very often so I like to <laughs> let people know. So here are the dies. Okay, main dies, you know, clearly these larger pieces. This is that bit that's going to be in there helping the sliders go in and out or maybe keep, or however it is. And then this other piece here. And then we have the little balloons. <laughs> oh my gosh. And then um, all the accent pieces, the little band. I love this kind of die. I'm telling you, any stamp that you have that's like a sentiment, use that little guy. It looks really great. There's two different sizes of that. Oh, actually, three. Um, the words wish and hooray. I'll quickly measure the largest dice just so you have an idea. It is like three and three quarters square, probably. This one's four and a quarter long, but it's about two inches wide. And then this one's a little bit smaller than that. So um, just to give you a point of reference. And then we have all these sentiments. My goodness. I mean, you guys, for like any card, really make a, you did it. Let's celebrate. Way to go. All oh, this little butterfly body. Hip, hip. And then for you, celebrate. You are so kind. A bunch for your, on your, happy birthday on the baby. Friendship, uh, new arrival, you a happy, like wish you a happy or something. Uh, life together, uh, one tiny word with one big meaning. Congrats, graduate. I mean, there's just, you're the best. We're so proud. Happy birthday. I know I've skipped over some, but tons of them. And then some of the accent pieces for the other things. I think the word sending. And then all the little layering um, stamps that are super cute. I would say this one, just to give you an idea, is just about over an inch the biggest butterfly is like an inch and three quarters. Oh my gosh, just adorable. So I'm gonna look over this right quick because I need to know what kind of papers or how much paper I need to bring out and kind of have an idea. Like this one says, if you're gonna make a flat card base to use a paper trimmer or scissors to cut a four inch, four by four inch, I guess square. <laughs> I mean, obviously a square four by four inch, but that's um, what they're saying there. Or option two, a standing card base uh, using a paper trimmer or scissors, cut a four by nine card base, score rectangle at four, eight, eight and three quarters, fold at score lines, apply adhesive some at the bottom so that it stands up like this. So, ooh, that's kind of interesting. So you'd ha just have it there and you know, you can slide it in and out. Cute. Or you can put it on top of a card, I'm assuming. Um, I'm not sure. <laughs> so yeah, let me look this over a little bit and I will be right back. Sorry guys, as I go to get my papers, um, I do want to mention this is something that we will need at the very beginning. I kind of put it to the side. I just didn't know what it was. <laughs> um, it's part of the mechanism for the uh, slider, but we'll talk about that in just a minute, okay? So I just want to show you, you do want to hold on to this. Okay, so I have a few pieces of paper here. So start off with the beginning. It tells you, like I had read it earlier, to get yourself a 4x4 four four card base. So it's going to be like a 4-inch square card. Um, and then 
because this die here I think is a little bit smaller than that so this is this guy so what I'm gonna do is the option two where it says to make a standing card base because that would be fun something different just to show you a little something different so uh, you need a four by nine card base and then we're gonna score it so I'm gonna use this purple one for the card base excuse me I always end up standing up when I'm crafting and then I have to move my stool around so you hear it sometimes so four this is a standard A2 size sheet four by nine and to not have to bring out the extension arm I think this is 11 obviously so by nine I'm gonna take two inches off of this so this piece right here is four by nine and then um, we're gonna score and do some other fun things so yeah let me put some things aside we'll go ahead and do the scoring and all that and I'll be right back okay so on the four by nine it says to score it at four eight and eight and three quarters so four, because you want that four inch square, eight, because that's the doubled over, and let me see, four, eight, eight, and an eight and three quarters, which means I'm going to turn this, because I don't have this, this isn't long enough for that, and um, just fold it at a quarter inch, right, because of an eight, then eight and three quarters. So a quarter inch off of this side. So if you have to turn yours like I did, you want four, eight, eight and three quarters, which really means a quarter inch off of the end, right? And so I'm gonna fold this guy. And basically what they're asking you to do is just go ahead and glue that little quarter inch piece that's left over here to this, you know, just kind of like a square. Like if you were making like a little wrapper for something except for you're not going to have that extra gusset on this side so it's just going to hold it up like this okay um yeah and i'll just go ahead and glue that now and put that to the side fold down to here yep and of course i gonna hold that down just a little bit until it sets up okay I'll be right back so now this is done this is going to stay up like that this whole time right because of how we created it but I just thought about something you might want to score at eight right and then the eight and three quarters which is fine but you might also want to score it right in between here and that way you can fold it shut for mailing so I'm gonna squeeze this I wouldn't recommend doing it this way I would have done it to begin with I just didn't think about that it wasn't gonna close for mailing if you want it to so for now I'm just folding it <laughs> okay and your recipient can still stand it up if they wanted to when it comes in right okay so just an idea if you want to flatten it out just give it a little gusset so it actually closes up and then it can open up for use right so okay um, we're gonna put this to the side for now uh, die cut pieces according to images on the right so this inside piece I don't think this shows up <laughs> this inner piece and then these are part of the sliders and these slider tabs are what's gonna kind of hold on the very edge let me see if I can show you what I mean by that um, here these little edge pieces are those long thinner tabs so you have color here you have something else here and then you have your topper but on the inside you're probably not going to see that but um, you know if you want it to coordinate or just use a sturdy paper whatever it is that you want do that so um, for this inner one I didn't really think of pulling anything out so you know what I'll just use this same paper so I'll use this purple paper for this guy this guy here Okay, a slider base, and then cut four sliders, which is this die. And I want to show you the difference between that die and like the pull tab die. The pull tab is just a little bit longer and skinnier. So on these guys, I'm going to use this to cut my fun paper. And this is symmetrical, so it doesn't matter. What I'm going to do is cut the four pieces from this. And obviously some will be in the front, another piece will be in the back because you're basically gluing these two guys together. This is not the thickest paper since we're doing so many layers, I don't think it's a big deal. So I'll cut four from this fun paper. And then the pull tab, I want pink, so there's going to be pink and purple paper. Uh, these guys, and I think we only need two of those, okay? So, two of this, four of this, one of this guy, and I'll be right okay. back. Last piece here. 
Real easy, just come right out there. So we have these pieces, we're gonna put them to the side for now. We have our base piece, we have the two pull tabs, we have the four pieces. Like I said, I'm just gonna glue these back to back like this, so, you know. And so we have the four of those, that main piece. Put this guy back over here. Now, step two, or step three, that was step two. <laughs> we did one, two, and then three. It says remove plastic from adhesive strip on plastic strip. Wrap it around the base and, you know, whatever other info it says there. Now, when we go to do that, we have one strip in the uh, kit. So um, I did ask Diamond Press about this, and basically the reason they have this one here is so that you can kind of measure it, use it as a template, and then instead of you know picking up more refills or things like this you can just cut this from like literally anything so that you know the package can carriers like even the packaging this stuff um, when you buy clothes you know sometimes it comes with like in a package like this kind of thing so you just need some thin plastic probably ziploc whatever it is that you want to use so I'm gonna measure this right quick so we know the sizing on that and then I'm going to go ahead and cut some from another piece of you know something that I have here just so you have an idea of how to do that later so this is seven so it's seven and an eighth this does wrap around the edge so that doesn't really matter so much like if you want to cut it seven and a quarter or something that's fine um you just need enough to wrap around that piece that purple piece uh by two and three quarters so i think that's probably the most important measurement two and three quarters by let's say seven and a quarter okay so i am going to write that down real quick <laughs> seven and a quarter two and three quarters and i'm going to grab some um, packaging, probably, I've been reviewing things and trying stuff out. I have like this piece, if it looks long enough, it'll work. Oh yeah. Okay, so what I'm just going to do is open this up, just to show you how to make your own other piece if you want. Look at that. Cool. So I'm going to cut this down. <laughs> So let's say seven and three quarters. Just kind of want to have an idea where that might be. Because what I'm going to do is just cut this like here. Uh, and then from there, I'll just use like my trimmer or guillotine or whatever. Like that. I'm going to go and cut this two and three quarter inches wide. And I'll be right back. I just pop this in here. This is the two and three quarter side. And then, like I said, about seven and a quarter or so. This is like eight inches. So, I mean, just take a little bit off of that. I'm not even going to take the time to measure it. As long as it's over about seven and a quarter ish, okay? And I just cut a new strip for us. Okay, guys. So we have our little piece here. Again, the one that comes with the uh, kit so that you can kind of check out what it should look like um, has that little adhesive strip. So that's what they're talking about here. But we made our own, so we're going to do that ourselves. And yeah, look at that. And like I said, it just needs to come over, and I have it pretty much at that quarter inch. Um, but you know, you can be a little bit more, a little bit less, however. So what I'm going to do is actually put some sticking stuff on there. Um, you can definitely use glue. Obviously with plastic on plastic it's going to take a while to dry so I'm just going to use some of this adhesive and I am just going to pretend like if I was you know having one that was already ready to go with that adhesive on the very edge and really adhere that. And matters with front and back it does say on there so you're gonna bring this around and then you're gonna glue this down so I'm doing this over this um, to align it all the way to the right so I'm gonna do exactly what that says and if I want to take some of this off I can take a little bit of the edge off like I said it just needs to be bigger than the seven and a quarter but of course you want to cover that whole plastic that whole stickiness all right so I'm just bringing this around and let me do that a little more straight. A little straighter. Okay. Sorry, I know it's clear, so it might be hard to see what I'm doing, but basically just overlapping that. And I'm going to give it a really good zhuzh. And then it says to align this all the way to the right. So I'm putting it all the way over so that that glue is just to the right. That's what it shows here. So, all right. 
Now, uh, number four is to apply adhesive to one of the slider die cuts. It here in one slider tab, and then apply the top part, of course. So I'm gonna put this to the side. We have these guys. And basically what they're saying is, you know, I'm gonna turn them over because mine definitely have a right side. <laughs> is to just take your glue and add glue all over this. And I'm just going to really put it down towards the center because that's where this guy's going to come in. And I'm facing it down because this is the, the right side where it got cut nice, you know. But for this one, it actually doesn't matter because it's completely reversible. To place one of those guys in and then go ahead and put more glue, of course, on top of this because now we need this to adhere to the second sandwich that we're bringing over. I think that's good. And this guy is just going to go on top of that one. And we're going to do the same thing for both sliders. I'm just making sure I'm nice and even here. Okay, I'll do the same thing for the other pair that we have. This set. And I'll be right back. Okay, so we have our two pieces. Like I said, mine don't really matter which one's which. But I do like, you know, this side to be on top because of the way I did the tabs and the texture of the paper. So... Just keep that in mind. So we're gonna bring this in. Again, this is just like a, the slider base is gonna be tucked inside. So step five, again, we have this piece all the way to the right like I had mentioned, so I'm gonna leave that there. They're saying to put glue just here. And I'm not gonna use a wet glue because again, I, I need it to move along in the video, but at home I would prefer for you to use a wet glue because that's just, it holds up better over time. Um, but I'm gonna take that down. Again, this is just because um, it's on plastic. That's why it takes a long time, you know, a little longer to dry. Uh, and they said just to put it on this edge. So that's why I'm doing the same thing with this liner tape. And you're going to take one of your tabs and apply it here. Now I'm just trying to see if this is, yeah, sounds good. So I'm putting the nice side up, but you know, however, and you're just going to line it up here basically. And let that stay on there. And it says not to let the glue like get all over the place, you know. I'm gonna hold that down for just a second. I'll be right back. So again, don't let the glue get like all in this, all over the place of this. But this one, obviously, that little tab is gonna be holding on. So now we're gonna turn this over, and um, we're gonna do the same thing. And this time we're still putting the glue here on the same right side, but this guy's going to go facing this way, okay? Now, it, it seems weird. It seems like, oh, you put it over here, but no, you need to put it on this side. So I'm putting this right on that edge. Again, if you're using a wet glue, make sure it's not getting too wonky all over the place. I'm really burnish this again. So hopefully you guys are seeing pretty much how to make the basic mechanism and then whatever glue adhesive kind of thing you like. Now, since I know the nice side is facing out that way, that nice, you know, side of my cardstock, and I'm just talking about the little texture on this side is not as textured, I'm going to make sure that textured one is facing down also because that's going to be where we're going from. And just placing that right on this little guy, make sure it's nice and straight. And again, I'll give it a second to just really adhere. <laughs> And that is step five. Okay, for step six, we do need the card front after you do a couple things. So I'm just gonna put this to the side just for now. And my card front is just gonna be white because I, I think I'm gonna dress that up, you know. So that's that. And let's get the die for the card front. And so I'm just going to quickly run this through and I'll be right back. Okay, so we have this. Now, unless you wanted to assemble like put the decorations on your card front after it's all assembled then I would decorate the card front first so I think what I'm doing I'm gonna decorate this first and then we'll get these three pieces together okay so um let's see we have lots of sweet things our little words congrats thanks big it's your day oh I think I'm going to do this. Let me see what I have on our stamp set and see what it is exactly that I want to do. So I was thinking you have big thanks. Be cute. Um, you have like you're the best, you know, all these fun things. I do you want to try out these little balloons? I think they're really sweet. 
So we have a little balloon in the background, maybe. Okay, so let me grab some paper and some inks. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm not sure. Maybe I should use a stamp for the shirt. And I'm just going to do the same thing for both, you know, or two or three, however many balloons I'm going to make. So let's start off with this guy, leaving a little room for the die itself. And I'm going to stamp with a light color first and then a darker color. So let's go with like this light yellow. And stamp that. So sweet. And then like an orange. Oh, you know what? Ooh, like a pink. Oh, for this little guy, that little texture stamp. And it still has that same kind of bottom, so I'm trying to, I'm, I'm going to just line that up. Put that little guy in some pinky color. It's kind of fun, just a little something different. Oh, look at that. So cute. Okay, I'll put this guy to the side. I rinse those off and I'll stamp other colors. Then we have like um, the straight stamp. We have a little curly kind of wavy um, little guy. Now I'm going to do this nice and straight because we have a die that goes along with this. And so I just want to make sure that I'm pretty close to like what the die would do. So nice and straight. And I'm just going to use this VersaFine black ink since it's a very fine little guy there. So I'm just going to make some fun things like that. How cute. Um, a couple other ones, and I'll be right back. a couple of little butterflies and everything else so we are going to cut these guys out I'll cut out my big thanks with different colors of maybe the purple and the pink just to bring that back in here um, I do want to show you something which I mentioned in videos and sometimes I show it but to make an aperture I think this might be enough paper we'll see so for the balloon since we do have this thin stick what I want to do is make sure that I have it pretty well lined up so that's what I'm going to do right there and I'm going to tape this so it doesn't move too much right, right, through, my right through my machine with a well loved folder in there just to like to show using older folders <laughs> older folders uh, we're going to pop this out we don't need that but if you want to do a drop shadow you can definitely pick one that would drop shadow well for you I am going to trim this down. And what you do with that is you just pop it open so you can pretty much see where you're lining this up. And just see where you're going to be cutting. And if you're happy with that, just pop this guy back over. It's a little different shape, so I've <laughs> got to work with it a little bit differently. Push that down so we saw I can see right through there. And then, you know tape this down with a little extra washi or whatever that you like to use and then run that back through and you have a lot better idea or perfect where you're cutting I'll do the same thing for the butterflies if it's you know if I feel like I need to pretty good and then I'll do the same thing with this guy I'm just gonna remove this take this piece of washi off and again, just eyeball where that's going to cut, lay it back down, and run it through. Okay, I'll be back. So I have my little sentiment, so cute. And then I have the thanks here. And this is going to be our card front. So there you go. So, <laughs> funny enough with these guys, I kind of just eyeballed what it was that I needed. If I needed this one with the little like dots so I can see here next time I stamp it I'll probably use this guy on this body as you can see the bottom wasn't quite there 
it just mix and match them. So just pay attention to that. You know, I probably should have looked at my <clears throat> instruction sheet. <laughs> it shows you here which ones to pair up. So it's this little long skinny one, right? Not too bad. And then this guy does have that little body down at the bottom. So just, uh, you know, I switch those. Okay. Uh, let's see here. All right. We have big thanks. And then I want to pair that up with, you know, some of the balloons. Of course, we can do like little clouds. I mean, there's lots of ways to dress this little guy up. Maybe have that guy there and this guy coming from like over here. And maybe I would um, trim that down. So, of course, however it is that you need it to look for that to look the best. How cute. And then I was going to put the little, um, these guys, I was going to use them on the inside. So, for now, I do like this being here. So I'm going to glue that one down. It's basically going to be in here. And then this guy down over here somewhere. And I'm going to glue down my words, trim off that extra bit that's hanging down. Okay. I just put that there. I'm going to glue this down on here and here. And I'll okay. be right back. Glue down my little words. I tell you how to trim off this bottom part that's just hanging out. Okay, you know these pieces. So this is our main piece, and right now it's turned over, right? Because this is the side that I want to be this piece in the front. So let's see what the instructions say. Let me clean up a little bit, and I'll be right back. Okay. So for now, I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna decorate the tabs whenever I bring them out. So just in a second. Um, so we need this, and I suppose you can do this either way. I'm still having this facing down, right? The right side facing down, just like we left it when we started doing the card topper. So this is the nice side. So we're going to leave that there. And basically it's telling you, because you're basically going to put glue tabs on both sides the same way. Just, you know. So this is the side that we don't want showing is facing up right now. And we're going to put these little tabs. So in each corner, basically you don't want to impede the, the mechanism, but you do want these in the corner. So one, two, three, and four. And these are cut perfectly with a little extra room, so it's not like you have to have it exactly in, you know. So we have this guy. I'm going to turn this over now so I can see what I'm doing. Are these all sticky? No. Left the carrier there. So that's why I'm going to decorate this afterwards so we don't have to worry about, like, oh, I have this here or that there. But we do bring our little base back. I'm going to squish it down. And basically you want to center this in here. That looks pretty good to me. Push that down. I think that looks good. Oh, this is so funny. Because basically this is going to turn, this plastic is going to move. So, okay. And then um, we're going to put our card front on. So we have this piece there. So that's what they're showing you here in this picture. So we do the card front and then we're going to put our little bits here and there. Now I decorated the topper before, but it does say on step seven to go ahead and decorate and all that. And you can do it because obviously it's flat, but I just felt like I needed that extra bit. <laughs> and then I like to decorate when it's super flat. Bring this, and I'm sorry guys, I have to be able to see this. I'm going to face this towards me a little bit. <laughs> How cute is that? Now, I'm not sure if I pull both sides. Oh, <laughs> so cute. I'm being gentle with it because I use that kind of adhesive. If you're using glue, unless you rip it, it's not going to fall apart, right? But look at that. And then that little plastic is what's making it slide for you, you guys. And it clicks in almost. It feels really nice. Oh, <laughs> I love that. Okay, so I did, like I said, I cut a couple little things um, to decorate on the inside. Uh, we have more sentiments. Why can't I pick things up anymore? To bring this over here. Um, you know, I was just going to decorate that and this little guy. And then maybe some other little fun things, but I think that's good. Also, we can stamp some more sentiments. You know, it's your day, wish big. Um, I can stamp like, um, let me see. Uh, so we have the thanks. There are some different things. You are so kind, you know, that goes with that. Um, for your, and then whatever it is that you might want to pair up with that. Uh, just some other uh, of the, uh, the sentiments that were, you know, you're the best. 
uh, wish you a happy, you know, something or however it is that you want to put these together. But I think that's really sweet. So I'm going to do just this. I'm going to glue these down flat because it does tuck in on the inside. I don't want to have any reason that it impedes. What I think I'm going to do is actually add a couple little gems. Again, I'm putting gluey, gluey all over. So let me glue that down. I'm going to glue this one down and I'll be right back. Okay, what I think I'm going to do is from the new iridescent set here is where is the color I'm thinking about using maybe this green so these guys aren't really making contact with each other one slides behind the other as you can see so hopefully you can kind of see that so what I'm gonna do is use some of these little gems and just uh, pop them right over where the little antenna were that I kind of boop boop on that one. <laughs> so I'm going to put that there. Put this one here. You don't want to put too much um, thickness, I don't think, in here. Because obviously you don't want it to catch. But as you can see, it slides in there. And I'm going to do one more set on this one, too. Uh, should we do those green also? I might pick a different color. So I'll just finish off my little card with some little stuff here and there. But how sweet is that? Again, a built-in stand, you know. <laughs> really cute. And super easy and again you can make your own refill uh, slider pieces so you know you have to depend on anything so that works out all right guys thanks for watching uh hopefully that answers your questions as far as how to put it together i did want to reiterate the size of the um plastic slider piece so let me find my little scrap where i wrote that down so when you go to remake those little plastic sliders it is seven and a quarter by about two and three quarters okay so just so you have that reference Sorry, later. I'm going to repeat it one more time. Seven and a quarter by two and three quarters, or two and three quarters by seven and a quarter, however you like to <laughs> do your measurements. Um, so you'll have that. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll have the images coming up. I'll have links in the description box. Thank you so much, Diane Press, for sending these items for review. And I will see you all at the next one. Bye now.